everybody. Today we will be painting a tree. For this project, you will need one piece of your vanilla colored cardstock, one piece of brown construction paper, a pencil, scissors, khaki glue, yellow, orange, green, and red paint, and three Q-tips. Please pause the video now to get your supplies. You have gotten all of your supplies, put away your paints, and leave only your glue, scissors, and your two pieces of paper. Please pause the video now. The first step is to make the trunk of our tree. For this part, you will need your pencil and your brown construction paper. You're going to choose one hand to put on the brown paper and you're going to trace all the way around like this. Make sure you leave your arm in there too so you have a trunk. If you look carefully you can see the shape of my hand. Please pause the video now. Once you have finished tracing your hand, now you will take your scissors and cut out the shape that you just made. Please pause the video now. After you have finished cutting out your hand, now you will take your cardstock paper and you're going to use your glue and glue your hand down onto the paper. Now, you want to make sure that the edge of your hand and the edge of this paper match up. Put a little bit of glue onto each finger to make sure they stay down. Now, match it up very carefully. Please pause the video now. Once the hand has been glued down, get your paint with your four different colors on it and your Q-tips. Starting now, we're going to be painting on our leaves, or rather, we're gonna be dotting on the leaves because we're gonna be using these Q-tips. And starting with the green color, you're gonna dip your Q-tip in the paint, and starting from around the fingers, you're going to dot your paint, like this. and you're going to go all the way around the entire hand. Now, after you have finished dotting on the green paint, the next color is yellow. Use the other side of the Q-tip and you're going to do the exact same thing. Keep dotting around the edges, like this. After the yellow paint, now do the same thing with the orange. And finally, your last color, your red. Please pause the video now. Once you're finished painting, take a black marker or a pen and very carefully write the date in the bottom right hand corner.
and you're finished. Make sure to clean up your area and now you have yourself a very wonderful painting. Thank you everyone, good job, and see you next time. Bye bye!